Take a moment right here Feeling like a sound gear Driving towards the sun With a rose and a gun Feel the wind in my hair Going nowhere I swear Like an outlaw on the run Dangerous but it's so fun Running, running What's up bro, welcome back to the channel and to another video and in this video I'm going to give you 5 tips to keep in mind every time you want to do the deadlift. So when it comes to deadlift, it's one of the most dangerous exercises that I see a lot of people doing but uh, a lot of people don't have the basics for it. So they execute it, they end up injuring their back and uh, yeah it's a very dangerous exercise to do. This is why I want to make this video in order to make sure that you're safe and uh, you're executing it properly and you're targeting the muscles and uh, doing the exercise the way it's intended to be done and not uh, just lifting heavy weights just for the sake of it so um, during this video i'm taking you with me to the gym so let's get this video going. the first thing you want to keep in mind while doing the deadlift is the placement of your foot so some people like to do the sumo deadlift but for the sake of simplicity i'm just going to be talking about the normal one and to start things off you want to make sure that the bar is going through the middle of your foot so imagine that the bar is a line and uh, it's going through the middle of your foot you don't want to have your chins touching the bar and you don't want to be standing too far away so keep that in mind because if you don't have a good uh, base for the deadlift you won't be able to execute the exercise properly. The second tip I got for you while deadlifting is to maintain a good back posture. And what I mean by this is to have a straight back. You want to make sure that your whole spine is aligned together and uh, there are no curves and there are no arches in it as this is going to prevent injuries and going to make the whole exercise more stable and uh, more smooth to you. And the main injuries that happen to people while deadlifting are concerning the back because they put on a lot of weight and they have bad back posture while they're going up and this eventually leads to them injuring themselves and you don't want this to happen to you. The third thing to remember is to push with your legs and to be specific with your heels. You don't want to be using your back and especially in the first rep because this is going to put a lot of tension on it and this will lead to injury. So just remember to keep your whole foot on the ground and use your heel to push and while you're at the top you want to make sure that you're squeezing your hamstrings and your glutes together in order to get the most out of the deadlift. Now that you got the basics covered we move to the middle part of the exercise which requires you to push the weight up and hold it while you're standing up and the main thing to focus on here is that you don't want to lock your knees and what this means is that you don't want to overextend your knees to the back and putting all the tension on them so I would advise you to keep a slight bend in them while pushing your glutes together because your knees can easily be damaged during this exercise because there's a great danger on your back and your knees if not done properly and the last thing i want to talk about when it comes to deadlift it's your actual grip and it's the way that you're holding the bar so you want to make sure you're grabbing it as tight as possible and your palm is parallel to the ground and then as you go up you want your knuckles facing down so you want to shift the tension away from your fingers as much as possible so the weights don't slip out of your hands and a quick recap for everything first off watch uh, the placement of your foot number two have a good back posture number three push with your heels number four don't lock your knees and number five have a good grip and that's pretty much everything you need to know about the basics of the deadlift just remember to use a weight that you're actually comfortable with and if you still have any questions regarding the deadlift make sure you write it down in the comment section below i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching yeah